Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to use the remote key start option, the cruise control and the infotainment system on the 2020 Honda Civic. So in order to use the remote start, let me show you the remote control first. So this is the key uh, for the Honda Civic. Now there is a lock button, unlock button and this is the engine start and this is the one to open the, the boot. So in order to start the car from the button using the remote control there is a bit of a procedure so you first press the lock button once then you press it twice you will hear a beep and then you long press the engine start button and the car starts now if you want to again switch off the car all you have to do is again press this button long press it and it switches off the car. So the Honda Civic comes with the standard cruise control system and the controls are mounted on the right side of the steering wheel. So when I press this cruise button, you can see the cruise control is activated on the screen, which is the cruise main, that is the, the, the information that says that the cruise control is activated. Now, in order to set the speed, all you have to do is press this set button when you reach the desired speed. And then when you want to increase the speed, you can press this uh, plus button or decrease the speed, you can use this minus button. And when you want to come out of cruise control, you can either press the brake pedal or you can press this cancel button and the cruise control will come out of it. Now, in order to resume the cruise control after that, if it is activated, then you can press this resume button and the cruise control will start operating from at the, this, the speed that you set at the in the last time. So in order to switch this cruise control off, all you have to do is press this cruise button again and the cruise control is deactivated. So the infotainment screen on the Honda Civic is a 7 inch TFT touch screen and it's it's a pretty clear display to be honest and even during the daytime the the visibility is pretty good so in order to start using so this is the main audio on off button there are buttons given on the left side so you can use them and then there is the volume button again these are all touch buttons capacitive touch buttons and then there is the home me home menu and then there is a back uh, button now this is beeping right now because this is the main home screen now on your home screen you would find audio phone info settings smart connections smartphone connections and the app list there are more apps on the other side where you would find the different apps which are installed in the system when when you connect the the phone with the internet connection you can download different apps on the on the system itself so starting off from the audio you can see the different uh, audio source from here so you can press the source and then you can choose to have the FM, AM, Bluetooth, USB, iPod, again the smartphone, The so you can connect it using the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay, there are more audio apps and then there is an HDMI port. Coming to the main home screen now, this is the audio source, so you can go to the audio from here also or there are on the home screen itself and also the source you can directly select from here itself. So the next is the phone button which will show you all the phone related options. So you can use the calling option, the messages to see all of that when the phone is connected. And then there is the next option which is the infotainment, info, sorry, information. So this is the information related to the trip computer, what fuel economy you are doing, your previous journey, your history of the different trips. And then there is also another view which is your clock all the, or the wallpaper. So it will show you this as a standard wallpaper when when you are not using the infotainment system or it's been sitting idle for a longer time so it is when this will show you that from that information that you can change then there is a setting options which is more elaborate options so you can change the clock settings from here everything from for all your clock adjustments there are more settings for your clock adjustments and then you can go back and then you can change the phone settings so whatever you want you know your bluetooth device list there is also the speed dial the ringtone your automatic phone sync whatever options you want from your phone to be synced onto this system you can select that then there is more info again the info again is some it again takes you to the same clock options for some reason so uh, there is again the audio option so in the audio options again you can choose the bluetooth device list there is 
also the different uh, settings to change the audio source there is also the vi video option which is when you connect the hdmi port then you will get the video option or the usb that point you can change the hdmi option then there is the 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 bluetooth option and then you come to the camera system then you can change the rear camera and the lane watch system so you can change uh, when do you want if you want during the turning signal for that camera to switch on and also for uh, how, how when should the camera come on instantly or after a while so all of that can be changed from here and then there is the system settings which has more elaborate ones for your home screen your configuration of the instrument panel so your instrument panel can be edited from here you can change the order of your so it will show you out here all the different options that you can see let me show you that so it can because right now i am in the setting so it is not going into that but let me show you again if it is possible yes so yeah if you can see those options are on your screen right now so you can change the order of these options and then you know you can work your way around and then there are more options in the systems uh, like your tachometer settings your display settings for your screen and also for the screen the center also in order to change the brightness of this screen shortcut button is on top of this so you can press that and you can increase or decrease the brightness of the screen from here also so there is a shortcut button for that too now going back then there are more options for your display options your display settings your background color which is the theme color which is the amber color so you can change that to maybe you know violet your red color so and press ok and all the menu options go into the red color so you can change that from here then the touch panel sensitivity so right now it's on the higher side you can keep it on the lower side but i would just prefer to keep it on the higher side because it's much more easier while driving then there is the guidance volume the voice recognition volume the beep volume your clock or wallpaper which i mentioned before you will see a clock and then behind that there's a wallpaper you can adjust that also then again the clock adjustment again and then there are other options like your language your last screen the memory options the time adjustment again and then you can change the skin completely from here so you can choose to do that and then you know you can have different sort of you know uh, view uh, adjustments on the screen itself and then there is a bluetooth and wi-fi options again you can change all the bluetooth settings from here you can edit or you can pair the different options and then there is a wi-fi option so you can connect your device out here your phone and then also you can give a local hotspot from inside the car itself there is also the vehicle settings which is in depth so this will give you the deflation warning system for your tires the tire pressure monitoring system this is the meter setup for you know your trip your different trips your a b and also you know the the outside temperature display the alarm and also the fuel efficiency backlight and also there is a door window setup so you can change the keyless uh, lock notification there's also the security there's also walk away lock so whenever you walk away from the car it would lock the car automatically and then there are more settings from i think vehicle is covered yes and then there are more settings like the smartphone where you can customize the apple carplay or the android auto so you can change all the options out here which one you want the 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 iphones to be enabled for apple carplay and also the same goes for the android auto you can enable the devices that you want the android auto to be enabled and then that is pretty much it in terms of the the menu options that you can see out here there is one more list which is the smartphone connection so whenever you connect your phone using the usb port you can see this option and all your so you can directly switch to your android auto or the apple carplay from this option and then you can mirror your screen out here there is also an app list so this will have all your different apps like your browser your calculator so this is similar to an android system if you can see because the layout is very similar to that because it is based on that so which is why you get all these options also i don't know what will you be calculating while traveling so and then there is a photo gallery so when you insert a pen drive or an hdmi you can probably you know see the phone gallery so that is it for this video thank you for watching this video and give this video a thumbs up if this video was helpful in understanding how to use the remote start 
the cruise control and the infotainment system on the 2020 Honda Civic. Now if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here. I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.